orangutans, one of Asia's most iconic species. But these adorable great apes are currently facing one of the planet's biggest environmental challenges. I've come to Indonesian Borneo to find out more about the plight of the orangutans and to see what's being done to save them from a very real threat of extinction. To start my journey, I've come here to the San Bajar Lestari Centre where they rescue and rehabilitate orphan orangutans. My first stop is to see the youngest residents at the nursery. Oh my gosh. How old is this one? But this one still 10 months. Mom. And these are all orphans. So you're their mum? Yes, yeah. you're a good mum. I think you have the best job in the world. <laughs> This little guy is called Bagus, which in English means good, <laughs> yeah. but he's not good. <laughs> he's very naughty. Whoa. He was rescued from a cage. Someone was keeping him as a pet, all on his own without his mother. Imagine a human baby being left in a cage on their own without a mother. I'm so pleased that the staff here are able to look after him and teach him to climb. <laughs> he's doing very well. And no doubt he's gonna. Ooh. <laughs> he's definitely not living up to his name. <laughs> the strength that these guys have in their arms, even at this age, is incredible. Spending my time at the nursery today has been a really bittersweet experience. I've loved spending time with these guys. They're hilarious, but they shouldn't be here. They should be in the wild forest with their mothers where they belong. In Borneo, rainforests are being cut down at a terrifying rate, leaving one of our closest living relatives with nowhere to live. show you firsthand the destruction of the orangutan's habitat and why it's happening. We're heading to a palm oil plantation now, but we're going to have to be quite secretive. Obviously they don't really want people filming in the area. So the orangutan's environment is being completely destroyed for places like this. This is a palm oil plantation and for as far as the eye can see, it's just monoculture. A natural forest would normally have a huge variety of trees and plants and species, but here it's just one. And as you can imagine, it's devastating not only for the orangutans, but for all of the other wildlife that exists in these forests. For me, it's disgusting that we're losing some of the planet's most incredible species just for this. But unfortunately, the devastation doesn't end there. Wow, just look at this place. I mean, going from the palm oil plantation where there's monoculture everywhere to here where there's hardly a tree in sight. And it's a coal mine, which is another industry in the area that's completely ruining the habitat. As tragic as this is, some hope does lie with the work of the Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation. Behind me is a San Bajar Listari Reserve. It's 1,850 hectares. It's huge. But if you'd have come here 25 years ago, there was nothing left. The whole place had been illegally logged. 
just imagine that. As far as the eye can see, it used to be pristine forest and then all of its wildlife was just taken away. However, a gentleman of the name of Willie Schmidt came here and has reforested this entire area. Hopefully, in another 25 years, this place will be perfect to release orangutans. But 25 years is too long to wait for the current residents of San Bajar Listari. So I'm off to meet Dr. Jamartin, CEO of the Boss Foundation, to find out what hope there is for these orangutans. Hi, Jamartin. Hi. What is the process for you when you're looking to find a release site? When we try to find the release site, it's not easy. Yeah, people are always thinking Indonesia has a lot of forest, but we have to find the suitable forest for orangutan. It should be lower than 700 above sea level. The other one, there is enough food for the orangutan there. Yeah, when we release the orangutan, we have to identify and make it at least 250 orangutan could be stay there. Why? Because 250 orangutan in one area is the uh, suitable numbers for the orangutan for the long term. That's why we need big, big forest. East Kalimantan, we have one uh, forest concession. We bought it uh, 1.4 million dollars, the license fee, before it was a uh, logging concession. And Jamartin, how many orangutans have you already released and how many more can that release site hold? We already released more than 22 orangutan and I hope we can raise uh, 200 orangutan there. That's great news from Jamartin. But with still over 200 orangutans at the sanctuary, I want to find out what's holding them back from being released. So this is Island 4. How old is this little baby down here? She's about seven or eight months old. Then. Was it a surprise or did you know that she was pregnant? It was just a surprise. Yeah. Because her mom is a big belly. Yeah. So we didn't <laughs> we didn't realize that that she is pregnant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Sam, these orangutans look like they've got really good skills now. They're climbing and they look really healthy. Are they ready to be released? Yes, they're going to be released. But uh, we need more money to release them because that's a lot of money to transport them to the to the release site. We need helicopter there. So if more money is raised, does that mean then all of these orangutans on this island could yes. go to the world? Yeah. If we got more money, more money, we can release them very soon. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Going on the boat to see the orangutans on this island was a truly magical experience and knowing that they're capable and able to go back in the wild but can't because of funding breaks my heart. So please do whatever you can, donate, come here and volunteer. We need to get these animals back in the wild where they belong. <laughs>